In this session on strings, I'm going to show you different ways of reading strings into an array of characters using fgetS and scanf. What fgetS does is very different from what scanf does. So suppose I type this message welcome to GEU and then I press the enter key. I'm not entering the double quotes, okay? So don't get confused. I'm not entering the double quotes. Just to show you that it's a string, those have been enclosed in double quotes. So I'm entering welcome space to space GU and then pressing the enter key. And assume I have defined an array of characters called as name maximum capacity 100. Now if I read name using percentage yes, what is going to happen is only welcome and the null character is going to be automatically added by scanf and going to be stored in name. So what scanf does is the minute it encounters the first space, it stops reading. So it can be space, it can be the enter key, it can be the tab key. So the minute you, after any alphabets, you press the space, the enter key or the tab, it's going to stop reading. That's why only welcome is going to be stored in name. And this null character is going to be automatically added to name. Now, let me show you using something called as fgetS. This is the best way to read contents into a string. First, take a look at the prototype. What fgetS cell tells me is the first parameter should be a pointer to a character. Now you know that an array name of an array is an address. So it is a constant type of a pointer. That's why this first parameter, if I am sending name here, this indicates that name is a character or a constant pointer. Now n indicates the maximum number of characters minus one a user is allowed to enter or the number of characters it accepts. You can enter more than 99 or whatever it is, but it is only going to accept that many characters. So suppose it is 100, fgetS will only accept 99 characters, including the enter key you have pressed. After the enter key is pressed, fgetS will automatically add at the end of the string a null character. Now this standard in is something known as the stream. We'll talk about streams when we're dealing with files in the chapter after this. File streams really means what is your source of input? Is it the keyboard? Is it a file? Is it anything else? So right now our input is called as a standard in and by default in C, the standard input device happens to be the keyboard. So I'll just repeat it. Your standard input device happens to be the keyboard. This indicates a pointer. Since name is a name of array, this is an address. This is the maximum length minus one characters it will read or accept. Then standard in indicates what are the source of input you are going to give or from where you are going to give the input. I am going to give the input for my keyboard. So suppose I enter the message welcome to GEU and I press the enter key. So all these characters are going to be stored in name including the enter key and then the null character is going to be added to this particular backslash n. After backslash n the null character is going to be automatically added by f get s. The advantage of f get s is it will ignore all spaces until you press the enter key. So if you want to read a line of data which has a number of spaces and everything else then you please use the f get s. Now sometimes in scanf I have given the name as 100 characters. It is quite possible that somebody may enter 101 characters. Then the problem is there is no space to store the null character. So in order to prevent over reading extra characters, if you give n s, you can specify n as 99. So whatever the user enters, it will only read 99 characters into name and automatically one space will be left so that it can enter the null character. So I just repeat, n indicates how many specified number of characters a scanf is going to accept. After the number of characters, it will stop reading. So name is going to accept only that many number of characters as many as n is specified. This way you're not able to have a overflow of characters into name. All right. Now let's take a look at this particular program. So here what I'm doing here is I have declared an array of characters name of 100. I'm asking a user to enter a message. Assume he enters the message welcome to graphic era and presses the enter key. So if I print this message, this exact message is going to come on the output screen. After the backslash n, the null character is going to be appended. Now when I come here, what I have done here is 
I am asking the user to enter something, but I am reading it using scanf. So when whatever the user enters, the minute after welcome he presses the space, only welcome gets stored in name. And when I print name, only welcome is going to be printed. And now finally, this is how we halt. So this shows you different ways of reading. If you want to read including space, use fgetS. If you want to read only one word and stop reading after space, tab, new line, use the scanf.